Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Hey there, before you watch this video, you need to make sure that you've watched my topic 3.3 and 3.9 video. And as always, my Unit 3 playlist is in the description below the link for you to subscribe to my second channel. Ha ha ha! Okay, take a look at this problem. 2 multiplied by cosine of x plus 1 is equal to 0. Here's my advice. Get rid of the cosine and add it back later. So now it's just 2x plus 1 equals 0. So 2x equals negative 1, and x equals negative 1 over 2. Great, now that we've solved for x, we can add back the cosine, so cosine of x is equal to negative 1 over 2. That would be the same thing as saying arc cosine of negative 1 over 2, which looking at our unit circle, it's at 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. And since we don't have any domain for the problem, we need to slap the plus 2 pi k on it, and then this is our fully simplified answer. Let's try this problem. It's a calculator problem. Tangent squared of x minus tangent of x minus 6 is equal to 0. Let's remove the tangent, making it x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Factoring it, we get x minus 3 and x plus 2. So we get x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. So then we add the tangent back and we get these arc equations. These aren't traditional values on the unit circle, so this is where we plug it in on our calculator in radian mode, and we get x equals 1.249 and x equals negative 1.107. And then we slap the plus 2 pi k on it and we are done. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not 2 pi k. Tangent has a period of pi, so for this it would actually be plus pi k. It really isn't that bad for these problems, I promise. On the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. See you in the next one!